Welcome back, my friends, to update 7 for the touchscreen mini panel. This will be a short video, so if you are new to this compact device, you can review the earlier videos. The links are at the end of this video. Let's start with the new situation page. It opens with a touch and hold of the situation button. While you can still find most of the old page remaining on the left side, we now have an extension. Since there is a new written document describing the TMP pages, I am only going to touch on the new items on this page. The engine data block shows a calculated field endurance in number of hours. You also have a rate of turn readout. Then we have this peculiar looking half circle. It's here to assist you to approach a waypoint. Lack of a better name, I call it the approach view. It is coupled to the nav data on the right. The square dot that you see represents the relative position of the waypoint. The square is yellow when the distance exceeds 4 nautical miles. It turns to green when you get closer. The tail depicts the approach vector into the waypoint. The approach direction is selected with the course here. For example, you are coming in to land at runway 05 at an airport from some arbitrary position. You would dial in 050. The tail would line you up for a direct approach to runway 05. This could come in handy when you want to set yourself up for a straight in final. The last thing to mention in this situation page is the pass-through operation down below. What can you do with it? It allows you to gain control of the rotary encoders from the autopilot and the GPS pages while remaining in the full screen situation page here. When it is selected, they give you partial control to the two frequently used pages. and for the GPS rotaries. So that was the major addition. The other the less visible change is a result from the 5 by wire Airbus 0 0.8.0 release. It turned out that they have changed a number of new interface variables in the autopilot. So if you are flying the latest fly by wire, you will need this TPM update. There are also some graphic enhancements for the FCU labels. A dot will show up when you are in managed mode. The label will also follow the heading and track mode. Last but not least, let me mention a new doc in the documentation folder. As usual, documentations are often overdue for our mini panel. In this how to use file, I try to point out those not so obvious features in various pages. If you are a long time TMP flyer, you probably know them already, but I hope the newcomers will find it helpful. And that's it for this update. Thanks for watching. Be seeing you 